That's magic. That's close up manipulation. What are your best tricks that you perform? The well, best tricks we're going to perform next Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday at Circus Krone, which is in Munich, Germany, and we're going to perform with my first magic teacher, Evgeny Varonin. It's going to be a really, really cool show. We do uh, some tricks, which has also some comedy in it. Uh, we will perform for two days and sold out uh, the circus. And you're a man of Many talents. Um, you're a pretty good boxer. Not too bad. What else do you do? You're a good chess player. You... I have definitely hobbies as golf, as kite surfing, and uh, if I have time, of course, then chess as well. Uh, but I really do enjoy, uh, especially my two hobbies, as I mentioned before, kite surfing and golf. You're a big guy. Uh, you either need a big kite or a hurricane to get you off the ground? I need a kite, it depends on the wind actually. But most of the time I use big kite 20 square meters with 16 and the smallest kite which I have is 10 square meters. So that's a really strong wind. It depends also on the size of the board. Kite surfers really understand what I'm talking about. And, uh, but most of the time I definitely use uh, big kites. And what about your golf? Are you a good player? Uh, I'm very proud that I got a chance to play the Dunn Lynx uh, last year in Scotland. And uh, I definitely had so much fun because this is the golf course to play. And my handicap is 18 so far. I hope I can uh, have a single handicap someday. It's actually a game where you're never satisfied with your performance. So it's always to pop to top. It. Now you're the long-term World Heavyweight Boxing Champion. Um, I don't suppose too many things scare you? Actually, the fear is a, is a great gift in your life because it keeps you alert and focused and be better at certain things, accomplish certain things, or be careful from certain things. But it's also fear, it's a stop sign in your mind. So if you have too much fear, uh, you definitely gonna block a lot of opportunities in your life. Now you live in Beverly Hills. I'm living in the plane. Between the countries. I uh -huh. do spend uh, my time in Hamburg, Germany, where we are right now. I do spend some time in Kiev, Ukraine, where I'm from. And I do spend some time in the United States. And I really enjoy this traveling so much because it's all in the combination with activities, different businesses, which uh, the KMG Fletch Management Group is involved. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm actually a very lucky and um, happy person. What was life like growing up in what was then Russia as a boy? You had some strange lessons at school, didn't you? I had a great experience because I have been uh, traveling a lot, also the child, because of activities of our father. Uh, we have to all the time switch to places um, and schools. I have changed seven schools while I was in school in different countries and cities and it really taught me how to get to the new society, how to adapt yourself. The same thing was happening actually uh, later on when I became a dog person. So I have to learn different languages, uh, laws, mentalities, um, integrate yourself in the society and um, I think that sport gave me such a great education like no universities in this world could give me this education which I gave going to get and getting to the sport. And also sports gave you the chance to travel. Definitely traveling. These days you you have to um, think globally and you have to also um, you know act globally, not only locally. The world is smaller now with the technology, with internet, phones, uh, planes and so on. It's getting really, really small. And traveling is, is a great education as well because you, you're meeting different people and you're, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, also with different mentalities and you have to get along with that. Um, and you have to actually um, put yourself in their skin to understand where they are and what they think and uh, do it in the speak not only same language uh, in the manner of language but same language of understanding as well. How is life back in the Ukraine now? Is everything peaceful and, and happy in your in your country? Life in the Ukraine is amazing. I wish you guys, whoever is watching, come visit Ukraine. It's an amazing country. 
with the mountains on the western, with the Black Sea in the south, with the amazing cities as Kiev, Kharkiv, uh, Dnipropetrovsk, Odessa, with also amazing people in it, talented people, friendly people, and extreme continental climate, which is really enjoyable, uh, especially in the summertime and the wintertime because we have a lot of snow as well. Are we going to see you appearing in any more films? You were in Ocean's Eleven famously when you fought Lennox Lewis on film with uh, well, Brad Pitt and George Clooney and Matt Damon. Uh, and then you also appeared in a Chris Cornell uh, music video, didn't you, last year? Both of them, uh, Ocean's Eleven with all those movie stars and uh, uh, to be part of uh, Chris Cornell video and uh, uh, it, was, it was a great experience. So I just put myself in the skin of an actor uh, even if I was playing myself in Ocean's Eleven. Same thing was uh, with uh, uh, Chris Cornell video where I played myself, but I have to dance and sing a little bit. And it was, it was really a hell of an experience, so a lot of, a lot of fun. What happened in the fight in Ocean's Eleven? Did, did you win? Did you lose? What happened? No, in Ocean's Eleven, as you remember, the fight between Lennox Lewis and me was suddenly broken because uh, the lights went off. And Josh Clooney, because of Josh Clooney, we couldn't figure out who, you know, going to win the fight. Of course, I think that Vladimir Putin is going to win the fight. <laughs> at, at the first round, we were, you know, kind of going back and forth. And then Josh Clooney, you know, stole the money and switched on the, the uh, lights uh, in the arena. And the whole chaos started, so the fight was uh, stopped. And uh, uh, we still not finding out who will win this fight. Clooney and company, that's their fault. Yeah. You had to see the end of the fight. Yeah, so they didn't just rob the, the casino, they also robbed you of the world title with Lennox. Exactly. <laughs> Did you get to meet those guys, Clooney and Pitt and Damon? Yes, we were on the same set and uh, for two weeks we were in Vegas where the movie was shot. It was really, really cool to play with Matt Damon, with basketball and with Clooney as well and to chat and have time with each other while I was shooting and uh, uh, they're really, really nice and cool guys. So Vladimir, finally, you, your next fight is in March. It's a defense of your one of your belts. One of my belts I'm going to defend against uh, an American fighter, Eddie Chambers. And uh, I'm not sure yet where it's going to be, in Europe or in the United States. Mm. Um, but I'm looking forward to this fight and I'm looking forward to the preparation and of course to win this fight. And finally, how special is it, Vladimir, to have not just one Klitschko, but two Klitschkos, your brother Vitaly as well, uh, being heavyweight world champion? Never been done before, maybe never done again. How proud of you of that? I'm very proud of my brother that he came back after four years of break and he uh, won the championship title, the WBC title, and now we are both Let's face it, in the history of this sport, that two brothers are holding titles at the same time, which was never before, uh, in the heavyweight division. So I'm very thrilled about it, and it's great to have a partner. So because we're partners with Vitaly, uh, also in boxing, that we'll not eliminate each other, I mean, don't fight each other, which will never happen that we're gonna fight each other, but it's a teamwork. So we are conquering the heavyweight division right now, and it's an amazing feeling. And we have to stay focused because the competition is always tough, and everyone wants to beat one of the glitch because they become champions. We are aware of it, we uh, know it, and we're really taking every single opponent very seriously.